Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back, everybody, to Healthy Living Tuesday. 100,000 years ago, that goes back quite a ways, the choice was simple when it came to a drink. It was either water or nothing at all, maybe dirt. But now we've got energy drinks, diet drinks, sodas, iced teas, fruit juices, coffees, coolers. On average, there are about 1,000 new beverages that come onto the market each and every year. But just because there's a diet in front of the name of your favorite soda or no sugar added on the label, that does not mean it's healthy or even good for you. Here to help us filter through all of what you see and hear is Express Care's Dr. Yit Kalan. Welcome back, Dr. Thank you very much. Okay, so first of all, we have to debunk one myth as we do. Is it, how do you pronounce, is it aspartame or aspartame? Aspartame. Aspartame, okay. Yeah, one of the uh, uh, artificial sweeteners. Oh, okay. And so on that note, are products that contain aspartame, are they necessarily healthy for you or are they just less healthy but still essential or <laughs> break it down? Well, um, they're not healthy. Um, most of the time they're unhealthy. Uh, years ago we used to think that diet drinks are okay because at least they don't have you know, sugar. But actually they're not okay because we know that people that drink um, diet sodas are actually at higher risk of diabetes uh, still than people who drink water or, or, or just basically nothing, nothing like that diet drinks. Um, the other thing about diet drinks is that they can t contain mold inhibitors that regular sodas and so on don't, don't contain. These are chemicals that are in there to prevent the growth of mold in these diet drinks and they're actually pretty toxic. They're pretty toxic to your kidneys and they're pretty unhealthy for, for your cell metabolism. They Lovely. kind of slow you down. So uh, diet drinks are really unhealthy, sorry to tell you. Oh, well how about those, uh, these energy drinks because you know they're so often promoted as having an abundance of vitamins A, B, C, mm -hmm. D. Uh, everything and, and yet they say you know they're incredibly high in sugar but but they have guarana which is supposed to be a energy helper right so they they are, they usually have tons of caffeine they usually have tons of sugar both of which will short term boost you up it's true uh, long term make you sick uh, both in, in two ways one by uh, giving you fatty liver and diabetes and high blood pressure and a whole bunch and obesity of course and the other by burning out your adrenal glands because you keep pumping them with caffeine and these are high dose caffeine drinks. Okay, so on that note, um, another myth. Is coffee actually a good thing over the course of your life and wine? Wine? Two. Okay, so two part question. Yeah, yeah. Coffee is healthy in small amounts. One or one cup, let's just stick with one cup because the cup size is, gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so we have like one cup of coffee as it per day. It's a nice stimulant. We know that people who drink a little bit of coffee tend to be happier, less depression, overall higher sense of well being. Same with chocolate, a little tiny bit. And um, as far as alcohol, same thing, uh, one glass of red wine per day is shown to be healthy for you for, uh, in terms of your heart, in terms of relaxation and, and a sense of well-being and just taste and enjoyment of your life. So moderation is key. Okay, so l let's go ahead and educate like our beloved viewers now because we're going to wax anecdotal because I, rem um, I told you that I actually gave up soda cold turkey um, right Bravo. after, uh, thank you, with, with your help <laughs> certainly, uh, right after Easter. Yeah. And we were doing a taping of Healthy Living here and I went up to you and I was like, hey doc, I got this, you know, orange drink and you know, like it was orange juice-like. Juice. Right. And you actually scolded me because of that and you're like, you know, you're not really yeah. making any improvements. Here's, so why is that? Well, because uh, juice is kind of the evil twin sister of uh, soda. So, you know, so many people will be shocked by that and be like, but juice is good. It's supposed to be part of the five a day of, you know, fruits and vegetables. No, unfortunately, juice is not good. So if you take a regular soda, it has about like Coke, it has nine teaspoons of sugar in it. Like just imagine taking a glass of water, putting nine spoons of sugar in it. That's how much your sugar of sugar you're sucking back. Juice has about eight. So if you take orange juice, just, you know, regular, um, you know, no sugar added, f f not from concentrate, you know, the good stuff, you put that, um, you count how many, how many teaspoons of sugar, it's about eight teaspoons of sugar in that non-sweetened juice. Then you have like all the other um, sort of juice equivalents like juice drink, um, you know, flavored beverage, uh, I'll, I'll be, I can't think of another one right this second, um, cocktail, fruit cocktail, mm -hmm. all of these different um, uh, labels that they have on there to help you want to buy this drink, 
but actually the content of juice in, in there is actually probably less than 10%. It's mostly sugar and flavoring and, and water. So unfortunately, hate to tell you, but juice is really very unhealthy, especially in our population where we have such a high obesity rate and diabetes. And so lots of my patients are quite shocked when I tell them, please don't drink juice if you're overweight or diabetic because you're sucking back tons of calories. You don't even know. Same with children, especially you know juice boxes and so on. A little 200 ml juice box of a Capri Sun or some kind of um, Tropicana or something mm -hmm. like that. About seven teaspoons of sugar in that. My word. Okay, yeah. then real quickly before we go to our first commercial break, um, I also, another week, um, I was drinking V8 and you also said, it's like, I was like, hey doc, I'm drinking V8, I'm getting my vegetables. You're like, well, there's a lot of sodium in that, so. That's a true story. <laughs> I can't win so with it's you. It's hard to drink anything except water. And the people say, well, what should I drink? And they look very shocked when you say, well, how about water? You know, put a little slice of lemon in your water or so, some ice in it. For eons, as you alluded at the very beginning, people drank water. That is what we're supposed to drink. Occasionally, a small treat, a small amount of, of, of juice or soda is okay because our body can tolerate that, but we're not made to um, suck back that level of, of, of sugar and chemicals. Um, the other thing with it is that um, when we have such a huge sugar load in one big gulp, you know, a, a big soda or, or even a large amount of juice, we're saturating our liver with um, uh, fructose, which is found in you know high fructose corn syrup, or now we're use, they're using a lot of apple juice concentrate um, to mix into the drinks to make them sweet. So they'll put no sugar added, but there's fructose, and that is a, a form of sugar. So when and fructose can only be broken down in the liver. So when you drink that, it's going directly to your liver. The liver's like, whoa, I don't know what to do with all of this. So I'm going to store some of it as fat. I can't process it so quickly. Only a little bit of it can be used immediately. Most of it needs to be stored. It becomes fat, fat in our body and also fat in our liver. And um, the second um, highest cause of, of, of liver disease is non-alcoholic fatty liver. And that comes from mostly the sugar that we're drinking and eating. So um, to help you not have liver disease, not have uh, obesity, diabetes, all of these bad things, stop the juice and soda. Stick to water. Water. Good old H2O. Yeah. All right, Doc, we will be right back. So stay tuned because we have your viewer questions coming. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why you pay attention in science class. More knowledge when we return right after this.